Mark Leibovich is chief national correspondent for the New York Times Magazine and a CBS News political contributor. He joins us now from Washington. Mark, good morning. Hi, Nora. Let's talk about this extraordinary public display of infighting in the Trump campaign over who to choose for Secretary of State. Were Kellyanne Conway's remarks about Mitt Romney, were they sanctioned, or is Trump now angry with her about making those? To me, it's one of those two choices. I mean, I think the more interesting, you know, I, I think w what is entirely likely here, given how we've seen the Trump team operate, is that Donald Trump is essentially telling her to go out and make public statements that would denigrate one of the candidates in a way to sort of add drama to uh, the process, but also to, if he ultimately does pick Was Mitt Romney, meeting? make him seem more... Um, you know, magnanimous in a way. I, I'm, it's unclear what Mitt Romney's role in all this, what he knows, and why he's going along with it. But do you believe, though, that Kellyanne Conway would not be speaking out so publicly if she thought that it would be upsetting to Donald Trump? You are saying that, correct? My sense is yes. I, I think mm -hmm. it would be somewhat unlikely, especially since she's gone all over TV, you know, consistently, especially over the last few days, towing not, not what so much a party line, but being very, very strenuous in her support of everything else Donald Trump has done. So it's a bit strange to sort of see a divergence there. Mark, can we talk about the, the, the recount in Wisconsin? What's your take on the Clinton campaign's participation in that? Well, what's interesting to me is that Hillary Clinton herself hasn't said anything publicly about this. Her general counsel's been out there. It seems very arm's length. I mean, clearly Jill Stein um, is driving this process. Um, at the same time, I mean, I, I think they have made, I mean, the Clinton team that if they've made public statements at all, they've been very clear in their expectation setting, which is that it's very unlikely that anything substantive will be found here. But at the same time, they want to at least be represented. I think that probably means some kind of legal representation. But I think it's fairly downplayed. At the same time, Donald Trump has obviously been getting, um, you know, rather exercised about this. So we'll see how that plays out. Well, speaking of exercise, we, we talk about the, the tweets, uh, and uh, right. if anyone thought that that would change uh, once the election was over with, uh, they, they have not. Uh, Mark, I wonder, so the president-elect has talked about his conversations with the current president a bit um, in, in nice terms. Those conversations between pre President-elect Trump and President Obama have continued? Uh, it seems to over the weekend. I mean, it's, look, the two of them are part of what is now a very, very exclusive club. Um, I, I think what President Obama has been telling Donald Trump is, is obviously open to great speculation. Um, either he's trying to sort of, you know, lobby him in some direction, policy-wise or even appointment-wise. Uh, but more likely, I just think that they're, they're just having a dialogue, which itself is interesting. And, and one day, hopefully, we'll know what they're saying. All right. Thank you very much, Mark Leibovich.